各位记者。Friends from the media, good afternoon. Welcome to today's press conference. The floor is now open to questions. It is reported that Japanese ambassador to China Kenji Kanasugi recently published an article on Japanese media. One of the major points is to make good use of the economic opportunities offered by China. He wrote that China leads the world in electric and smart vehicles, digital economy, and green development, and that the economic growth in Japan and wider world hinges on China economy. He stressed the need to make best of the economic opportunities offered by China. What's China's comment? I noted the reports. The point made by him is objective and constructive. China's economic growth gives a strong boost to the world's economic growth, and China's prosperity offers significant opportunity to the global prosperity. We'll continue to work for high-quality development and promote high standard opening up. China will also, as always, welcome companies from all countries, including Japanese companies, to seize China's development opportunities and share in China's development dividends, so as to realize greater development. Yumi Yuri, it's reported that in mid-August, China has indicted a male employee of Astellas who was arrested in October last year. What are the charges and the contents of the indictment? Can you give us more details? Days ago, Chinese prosecutors indicted in accordance to law a Japanese citizen on suspicion of espionage. As a country under the rule of law, China lawfully investigates and deals with illegal and criminal activities. At the same time, China protects the lawful rights of the person concerned and provides facilitation for Japanese consular officials in China to perform their duties. We hope the Japanese side will educate and guide its citizens to abide by Chinese laws and regulations to not conduct illegal and criminal activities in our territory. I'd refer you to competent authorities on the specifics. Special Envoy of the United Nations Secretary General on Myanmar, Julie Bishop, visited China. Foreign Minister Wang Yi met with her. Could you share more details with us? At the invitations of the Chinese side, Special Envoy of the UN Secretary General on Myanmar, Julie Bishop, visited China on August 20 and 21st. Member of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee and Foreign Minister Wang Yi and Special Envoy for Asian Affairs of Ministry of Foreign Affairs Deng Xijun met with her respectively. They had in-depth exchange of views on Myanmar issues. China respects Myanmar's sovereignty, independence, national unity, and territorial integrity, and stays committed to non-interference in Myanmar's internal affairs and the Myanmar-owned and Myanmar-led peace process. China supports ASEAN's role as a main channel and hopes that ASEAN's five points consensus on Myanmar and Myanmar's new five-point roadmap will reinforce each other and be effectively implemented. China supports the UN in playing a constructive role in the political settlement of the Myanmar issue and stands ready to provide support and assistance to the special performing her duties. We hope the special envoy will hope, uh, uphold an objective and just position, handle relations between all parties in a balanced manner. Bear in mind long-term interests of the Myanmar people and help Myanmar side find an effective way to bridge differences. Next question, please. Antala, 今年以来，印尼和中国州在积极的互相交往。印尼外长雷特诺马苏迪将与王毅外长在。第五届双边合作联委会上举行会晤，中方希望通过此次会晤与印尼达成合中水平的关系。Under the strategic guidance of the two presidents, China-Indonesia relations have maintained a momentum of robust growth with close high-level exchanges, deepening strategic mutual trust, and continuous progress in building a community with a shared future. The China-Indonesia Joint Foreign and Defense Ministerial Dialogue was officially launched last week. This week, the two foreign ministers will co-chair the fifth meeting of the Joint Commission on Bilateral Cooperation. China-Indonesia relations are increasingly growing at a high level with greater strategic significance. Next year marks the 80th anniversary of Indonesia's independence and the 75th anniversary of China-Indonesia diplomatic ties. China stands ready to work with Indonesia, follow the strategic guidance of the two projects, focus on building a community with a shared future, and keep deepening strategic cooperation on all fronts. The two countries can set an example of major developing countries working together to bring more benefits to the two peoples and make a solution to world peace, cooperation, and development. Next 
Next question, please. Uh, Fa Xingxue Ti Wen, AFP. U.S. senior officials met with Dalai Lama in New York. What is China's comment on that? As many people know, the 14th Dalai Lama is not a pure religious figure, still less a figure promoting nonviolence, but a political exile engaged in anti-China separatist activities under the cloak of religion. China firmly opposes any country allowing the Dalai Lama to make visits under any pretext and opposes government officials of any country to meet with the Dalai Lama in any form. China, firm, China has already made serious protests with the U.S. Uh, China, the, the appointment of the so-called U.S. Special Coordinator of Tibetan Issues co constitutes an interference in China's internal affairs. China is firmly opposed to this and has never recognized it. We urge the U.S. to fully understand the gravity and sensitivity of Xizang-related issues, be fully aware of the Dalai Group's anti-China and separatist nature, honor the commitments the U.S. has made to uh, China on issues related to Xizang, truly respect China's core interests and major concerns, not allow the Dalai Lama to engage in political separatist activities in U.S., have no contact with the Dalai Lama in any form, and stop sending the wrong signals to the world. It is reported that on August 20th, the China Chamber of Commerce, the EU, expressed its strong dissatisfaction and firm opposition to the European Commission's draft decision on imposing on Chinese electric vehicles and said that uh, and said that move will exacerbate trade tensions between China and the EU, sending a profoundly negative signal to the global cooperation and green development. Chairman of the German Federal Association of Economic Development and Foreign Affairs Trade. I made clear China's position. This investigation is a typical act of protectionism driven by political agenda, which undermines the EU's green transition process and global effort to climate change. The views of relevant industries and business associations need to be paid attention to. We urge the EU to have the rational and objective view for various sectors, correct its wrong decision at once, and work with China to find a proper way out through discussion and avoid escalating trade frictions. Next question, please. Uh, AFP, U.S. prosecutor. Had a criminal prosecution on a Chinese living in the U.S accusing him of working for the Chinese. I'm not aware of the specifics you mentioned. Next question, please. Recently, a scientific expedition team set sail to conduct a 45-day marine exploration in the Western Pacific Ocean. One of the highlights of the mission is that the manned submarine Jiaolong for the first time carried eight foreign scientists from five continents for underwater operations. What's your comment on this? Of China's progress and prospect for international cooperation on science and technology. Over recent years, China has conducted deep sea scientific investigation and joint scientific expeditions with multiple countries, driving global marine biodiversity protection and sustainable development. China remains committed to carrying out international science and technology cooperation. The submarine Jiaolong had foreign scientists on board for scientific expedition. The Chang'e 6 mission carried international payloads for lunar exploration, and the Tiangong Space Station announced to embrace foreign astronauts. All these are vivid examples of China's efforts to seek common development and share fruitful results with the rest of the world in science and technology. China has established science and technology cooperation with over 160 countries and re regions and signed 118 intergovernmental agreements in this regard. Besides, it also issued the International Science and Technology Cooperation Initiative, which uh, champions open, fair, equitable, and non-discriminatory international science and technology cooperation together with all parties. China is committed to jointly exploring a new model for global science and technology innovation. Um, science and technology has no boundaries. China is ready to deepen cooperation with all parties to better serve the humanity through common development driven by science and technology innovation. Uh, 
has said that. 路透社巴拉圭表明，他嗯希望与中国在南方共同市场达成协议。中方对此有何评论？ Balaguay最近表示，他愿意与中方通过南方共同市场达成协议。外交部对此有何评论？关于中国同巴拉圭关系正常化的问题，中方已经多次表明了。About the normalization of relation between China and Paraguay, China has made clear its position for multiple times. We hope the Paraguay government and leaders could. Follow the trend of history and its people's aspirations. Stand on the right side of the history and uh, the the international community at an early date, and make the right decision that serves the long-term interests uh, and the core interest of Paraguay. The joint market of southern countries is an important sub. Uh, national integration organization. China attached great importance to that. Next question, please. 还有其他问题吗 That's all of today's press conference. Thank you.